Hey, Eric from Around To It RC, and today I'll be reviewing the CX-10WD Mini FPV Drone. Now, I got this from an online store on the Amazon.com website. They're called Ghoul RC, and I'll be providing direct links to this product so you can go check it out for yourself and possibly some discount coupon codes as well. So be sure to check out the video notes after you watch the review. But we're going to skip the unboxing and go straight into the review because I've got a lot to talk about. Here is the mini quad right here. I've already got it powered up and ready to go. Here is the controller with my smartphone already connected to it. You can see I've got the uh, live feed right there. Here is the user manual, the USB charging system. All right, so let me set this down, talk about some of the stuff here. You do get a spare set of props in the box. I didn't show that. Here is your USB charging system for your mini quad. Uh, you plug this end into the quad. This end goes to a USB port on your computer or charging station. It takes about 20 minutes to charge the battery on the quad and you get about four to five minutes of flight time with that. When you plug it in, there is a red light that comes on right here. And when the red light goes out, the battery is charged. Okay, user manual. Usually I'm not really crazy about these manuals for these mini quads that come from across the water because they're written from somebody that doesn't speak very good English. However, this one I like. It's very useful. Uh, obviously, whoever wrote the manual can speak English very well. They laid it out in an easy-to-read uh, format. talks about the setup of the quad, how to download the smartphone app for your iPhone or Android based system. You see you've got the quick scan codes right there. Then it goes into great detail on how to operate the smartphone app, which I'll be using for reference during the video review. So overall, I would keep this manual and not toss it like I normally do. It's very useful. Okay, here we got the controller, we've got the quad. Let's go ahead and look at the quad itself. Now, this quad, you've seen quads with this type of design and size. However, this one has a couple of neat little features that you haven't seen before. This one comes with a built-in camera and it has altitude hold built in. That means it's got a barometer built into it, which is a pretty awesome little package for being a micro quadcopter. Uh, the camera itself is 0.3 megapixels. That's not really HD uh, for today's standards, but for this aerial platform, it works fairly well with a smartphone, and I'll show you that setup in just a minute. Now you can see you've got some LED lights on it, two blue in the front, two red in the back. You have uh, your antenna here for your quad. Now I pulled it out and straight down because that's what it says to do in the manual. Uh, it helps to increase the range. They say the range on this mini quad is about 25 meters, which is around 80 feet. Now, will this increase the overall range? I don't know, but I'm sure while you are in that 25 meter range, the quality of the signal will be a lot better with the antenna pulled straight down. So I'm going to leave mine down pretty much all the time. So anyway, there's the mini quad. Here is the controller set up right here, and you can see we've got live feed going on through the smartphone app. You can see there's my shop right there with all the airplanes and boats and cars and trucks. But you can see the feed is it's pretty responsive through the Wi-Fi. Doesn't seem to be much of a delay at all, which is pretty awesome. All right, let's go over the controller itself really quick and what you can do with it. Then we'll talk about the smartphone app, okay? Now, the controller. Lots of different little options you can do with the controller. The only thing you can't do with the controller itself is control the camera options. You have to have the smartphone app to do that. So anyway, for the controller, you can see it is collapsible. I like that feature right there. On the left stick, you can see it's centered at 50%. Well, that has to deal with the altitude hold and the barometer that's on board the quad itself. It's set at 50%. Now, this is something that you would normally see on the more expensive quads. My DJI Phantom has it, where you have altitude hold, where you push up and then let go, and it stops wherever uh, you let go of the stick. Now, I've had some good luck and bad luck with, uh, with this quad and the altitude hold. Um, for some reason, while I'm flying around, it tends to drop just a little bit every now and then. And then sometimes I've seen it 
just creep up ever so slowly. Uh, I don't know why it does that. Could be the barometer is a little twitchy uh, in the wind, but overall, I'm satisfied with altitude hold control out of this mini quad. All right, you have three rate modes with the quad that you control from pushing down on the left stick. By default, it is in low rate mode or 30% control. Press it here, two beeps. You're at mid rates, which is 60% control. Press it again here, three beeps. You're at 100% rate control or high rates. Pressing it again, we'll go back to low rates. Okay, the right stick. You have a, a pressing, uh, an option to press this too. It's called the flip mode. That's a little bit annoying, but I'm gonna press it anyway. You push it, it's gonna beep until you give it input to flip. And then whatever motion you push it in, that's where the quadcopter, it's either gonna roll or flip. Now, when I get it out and we do the, uh, the outside flight, I'll actually do a flip and what lets you see the video. Uh, it's very stable when it does the flips and uh, I'm satisfied with uh, the flip control. Now, on the back of the controller, you have some buttons. On the left stick, you have mode control, where you can fly mode two or mode one, so they can ship this internationally. You know, most people in the United States prefer one mode or the other. Uh, the other stick, I'm sorry, I got carried, all, carried away here. It has the up and down button. Well, that's because you have the onboard barometer with altitude control. You actually launch it and land it with that button. Launch, land, watch. I didn't want it to take off, but I just want to show you that it would take off. Pretty awesome. So that's about it for the controller. Uh, one other awesome thing, feature about it, you can actually store the quad inside the transmitter for transport while you're not using it. Okay, now for the smartphone app. Um, lots of different options across the top of the screen. You can actually control, can control it by turning that on. You can see the sticks come up. You can put your fingers on there and push the sticks around and fly it. I've done it. It's not, it's not that bad. Uh, I'm actually a stick kind of person. I prefer having just the full screen seeing what the quad sees and flying it with the sticks. So you can simply just push that button again and turn it off and you have that whole screen to watch and see what you're doing there. Pretty awesome. Okay. The controller, the smart fat, the smartphone app controls um, will go from left to right really quick and then we'll get out to the flying field. First off, the first button, it's a return home feature. Um, I've never had a lot of success with those return home features on these mini quads. I don't really see the purpose in having one. Uh, it's it's so small you're going to fly it within a range uh, of about 50 to 75 80 feet maybe it's not going to get completely out of sight and uh, the return home function I'm not sure how they program it uh, it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't to me it's just a selling point I'm not going to use it myself that much so all right moving right along you have a camera icon which you can snap photos and it will take pictures and save them directly to your smartphone. You can actually record video by pressing the uh, video camera button. I'm going to do that now just to show you how it works. And we're going to blow this video up full screen. Now you can see what it looks like on the, in the, the camera view here of my smartphone. But blow that up full screen. And that's what that video looks like. It looks really great on your smartphone uh, when you blow it up on a regular computer um, it gets a little grainy but like I said uh, the 0.3 megapixel camera is more than adequate while viewing it from your smartphone okay the button beside the the video camera icon that is uh, that lets you uh, allows you to view your pictures or video through the app uh, I can see that's okay doing that but I'm gonna do it later I want I want to fly while I'm using the quad I'll review the video and pictures later. Rate control mode. Uh, you, control, you can change through all three rate modes by pushing that button. Now the top button, that is something that's unique. Uh, it deals with controlling how you control the quadcopter. First I have to uh, turn the controls on through my smartphone. Now when I press that top button, I want you to watch the right stick right here. 
but it's going to drop. Watch this. Boom. Okay, this is called gravity sensing control in the manual, I believe. And basically what it means is you're now using your phone, and as you turn it, you control the quad that way. Now, I've tried it that way several times. Um, I prefer using the sticks myself. Uh, maybe the gamers out there would love to do that. Uh, it was fun to try, but for me and the, the way this FPV platform is set up, I don't want to fly it like that. I want to fly it just like you see it right here. Stick control and having a full screen of view of what the quad sees. Okay, the next icon here is it looks like a, a round button. It's actually the flip mode. Uh, the quad has flip modes. We talked about that using it on the controller here, and you can do it using the smartphone app. Now, the, the, the icon next to that is a scale, which means that you can calibrate the, or the accelerometers inside the quad by hitting the scale button. You can also do it, uh, let me see if I can get it to do it here, manually with the, the transmitter by pushing down and to the right with both sticks. Now you see the lights are flashing. Be sure the quad is on a level platform. When the lights go solid again, you've calibrated the, uh, the onboard accelerometers. Okay, but you can do it from the app. Off on, that just simply tells you you can control the quad through your smartphone where you don't need the transmitter at all. And then the, uh, I'm not really sure what, oh yeah, I remember now what that is. Um, REV, reverse. Um, basically, what, uh, what this does, it's funny, cracks me up. You push it and it flips the screen. Uh, so if you can't remember how to put your iPhone or your smartphone in the transmitter, uh, you can press the, re the reverse button and flip the screen. Wow. Awesome feature, right? Now, the last one I would like to take advantage of, but I can't because I don't have the correct equipment. Um, this, to me, looks like... Uh, it's two screens right there. And what that looks like to me is that you would put your smartphone in the VR goggles and possibly fly it uh, with goggles. I don't have the VR type goggles that I can put my smartphone in, but that's definitely what that looks like you would use it for. Awesome feature. I would love to try that out. Uh, and if anybody has tried that out, I would like to see that video. Please share it with me. Now, to get out of that, uh, all you have to do is push the icon again, and you're back to full screen mode. So anyway, that's basically it. Uh, the overall detailed overview of the uh, CX-10WD mini quadcopter. Let's go ahead and take it out to the field and give it a try, okay? All right, we've got everything set up here. Quad's ready to go. Let's hit the launch button and take off. Check it out. All right. Let's uh, do a little motoring around here. Very stable in the air. Um, looking pretty good. Now see, see what I told you about the barometer? It wants to creep up just a little bit sometimes. Uh, check it out. Got somebody walking over there. Hope I can see her. Oh yeah. Whoops. <clears throat> All right. I've got the rates at 100%. Let's dial them back down to 30 for now. All right. You can see working pretty good there's the quad check it out nice flying little quad at low rates very easy to fly nothing to it alright I want to do a flip so uh, let's go ahead and set it up alright I'm just going to do a, a, a right flip. Are you ready? Here we go. Nice. Very nice. 
All right, let's see it from the camera angle. Let's do another right flip, and I'll let you watch it from the camera on the quad. Nice. You see, it goes up just a little bit when it does the, before it does the flip a roll. Let's do a back flip. Nice. Very nice. All right, so I'm really enjoying this quad. Let's go around the tree. Actually, I need to bring it back. Yeah. You know, the range on this thing is only uh, 25 meters, so that's about 80 feet. We need to keep it fairly close, but I am just having a blast with this little thing. Check it out. Look at that. That's a picture of me watching me, watching me. <laughs> nice, very nice. Well, I am totally impressed with this quad. Let's go ahead and uh, bring it in for a landing. I don't know if I can get it to land on this uh, boulder that uh, I took off from, but let's give it a shot here. All right, let's hit the land button. Well, when it's over the, the boulder, Let's hit the land button. Ready? <laughs> How about that? Pretty cool mini quad. All right. Remember, you can get this from the company called Ghoul RC on the Amazon.com website. Uh, be sure to check out my video notes for direct links to them and possibly a coupon code uh, for this little quad. All right. So that was it. I thoroughly enjoyed flying this mini quad with the camera on it. And I hope you enjoyed the review and the quick flight. So please remember to support my channel by rating, commenting, and subscribing. Okay, so we will catch you guys later on the tube. And thanks for watching.